It's 6.15 in the morning, and we're all packed up. Well, sort of packed up. To catch a 6.45 a.m. train. I dreamt last night that Star Wars Episode Eight was terrible. We're on our way. Oh, there's actually people on the streets already. It's like barely 6.30 right now. We're gonna get some breakfast and get on the train. I feel pretty good, all things considered. We successfully made it on the train. It's kind of clear. So far, we're on time. Everything's going well. Okay, we're making a quick pit stop for Michael. We're pretty out in the country now. One of the great things about Japanese vending machines is that they have hot drinks too. So you always get the hot like drinks, like, you can use it to warm your hands <laughs> and drink. <laughs> like I often buy those just to warm my hands. I'm like, I don't really care about drinking it so yeah. much. I just want to warm my hands. So in these countryside stops, they actually have buttons here. So you can open it, go outside, and then when you come in, you can close it so that the cold air doesn't come in. Pancakes. It's basically a pancake sandwich. Pancake sandwich with maple syrup and butter. <laughs> oh wow. This is made for a culture on the go, you know? There's other hikers on this train also. My God, dude, look at this, dude. Like, if you thought I was flipping out about the city, the Japanese countryside is my jam. Look at the little guy on top of the street sign. <laughs> the entrance to the trail is right over there. We're just gonna go to the bathroom real quick before we start. Can you feel the peacefulness? Because I can feel the peacefulness right now. What is that? <laughs> Why is it there? <laughs> Life flourishes. These packs are getting a little heavy already. <laughs> well, it's way warmer than I thought it would be. It looks safe. <laughs> Look at this makeshift fence. It's so cool. So at the top of the mountain, there's a surprise waiting for us. And the guy who works at said surprise uh, said that on the weekdays, there's hardly anybody there. So with any luck, we're gonna be sharing that surprise together very cozily. <laughs> it's actually on our way down, technically. Oh, the way down? Yeah, after we hit the summit, like for the sun in the morning, then we'll head back down. Michael? Michael's there, Brian's there, Andrew's there. Oh, actually, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> he's somewhere. <laughs> Hasn't fallen down yet. A universal language just like math. No matter where in the world you go, when you get into the outdoors like this, you immediately feel like you're at home and you understand it. Also, these hills don't get any easier, no matter where you're at. It's 
See those mountains in the distance? It's such a far cry from Indiana and the Midwest. We have our beauty, but it is not a mountainous beauty by any stretch of the imagination. Looks like we're approaching the halfway mark. We're now past the thousand meters, which is the top of the mountain that we went to the other day. So we still have another thousand meters to go. We don't have to get to the next thousand until tomorrow, but we need to get to maybe 1400 today because that's where our campsite's at. So mountains in the distance. We're gonna make it to this little junction or water spout or something and have some lunch. We're gonna head to that first campsite. It looks like we are coming up to a fairly significant altitude increase here. If that's any indication. Whew. We just filled up on water over there. Those mountains are still in view. I'm eating one of the rice balls that Michael made for us. Yeah, we've got you know, more of the, the fried rice ones, and we've got the other ones that have like seaweed and salmon, and then the other <sighs> Down there at the bottom of the hill, I believe that's Haguro Shrine. The only reason I know that is because it's on Google Maps. I'm not sure I've mentioned it, but I think I have. We have had signal the entire time we've been hiking, sometimes like five bars. It's electricity wire right there. This hike is a bit different than most hikes we do in the sense that we can't just camp anywhere so we really do need to actually make time. But distance wise we are more than 50%. Let me tell you something, this uphill is no joke. <laughs> King Arthur has returned. <laughs> He's back to Adventure Archives. <laughs> it's like as you keep going up, it gets colder and colder, especially in the shade, so I got out my chain mail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but that sun. Yeah, that sun is awesome. You know how people say things like, this makes it worthwhile? It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's like every time you go uphill, you just hate everything and yourself. <laughs> but then as soon as you stop and rest a bit, you're like, I can just run up this hill. <laughs> then you go 10 feet and you hit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is some majestic beauty though. Look at this. Doesn't this feel like so uniquely Japanese? But there's something about here. Holy cow. Like... I wonder if we're going up that whole thing. Well, I don't know. If it curves around there and we go up the side, that is going to be serious business. Yeah. Woo! This looks like Morgan Monroe. Yeah. We've just stepped out of the underworld into Hyrule Field. I think this is without doubt the hardest hike we've ever done. Maybe your solo Smokies. 12 hour trek or whatever might have been a little harder. Mentally, yeah. I don't know about physically. <laughs> but physically, I think this is the most uphill. Ah, it was really amazing how much altitude affects physical performance. Because I just, it's like I'm not even like, it's not even that my muscles can't handle it, it's just there's not enough oxygen to go around to power everything. So it's like, okay, stop. Let's get some more juice to the muscles. Ah. This place looks just like the Smokies, man. It's like where we saw that snake the first time we went to Abram Falls. Wow, that is very steep. Kind of scary. We've reached 1,500 meters. 1,300? Oh, 
400 more to go. To put this into context for the viewers at home, Mount Everest is almost 9,000 meters high. And we're going up 2,000 eventually. Today we're trying to get to 17, we're trying to get to 1,700. Let's see if we can do it. Well, what's over there? There's riding before that. What, the red one? Tozan Michi de Oh, that's yeah. not a trail. So. It's just like, do not go past this point. It looks so much like a trail, too. Yeah. It's okay. Like, it's like the one that's flat and looks nice is not the trail. The one that's like... <laughs> this is the toughest trail we have ever done. Smokies is close, or Upper Falls Trail, close. How you guys doing? How do old Japanese men like this? I don't get it. It's also possible if they regularly, that's hard to say, regularly yeah. climb, they're more acclimated to the altitude. Okay. <laughs> Two. <laughs> okay. There is a blue tent set up ahead next to a trail junction. Not sure if that's the campsite or what. What's going on? We're gonna make it. What on earth is that? Oh, it's a bunch of ladders. This is the Buna Hill Kumotori. Campsite is this way. I think that means we're close. Pretty sure as soon as we turn this corner, we're gonna see the campsite. <laughs> I've got a feeling. Yep, come on. Come on. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I mean, it's just up here. It's up here. Don't worry, guys. Just keep walking. It'll all be worth it, once we get up there. Who am I kidding? <laughs> we can see a light up there. Just follow the light, Robbie. Okay, I'm following the light. I'm following the light, hopefully this is not my death. There's a light up there. Oh, that's a renewed sense of energy. Oh, the light's getting stronger. We're gonna be eating ramen, curry, rice balls, dorayaki. <laughs> Peanut butter sandwiches, peanut butter jelly sandwiches, um, trail mix, water. I think that's all we brought. <laughs> Have we talked about a Japanese word, gambate, which means it's kind of like if you speak Chinese, there's a phrase jayo, which means to add oil. It's kind of something you say to cheer people on. Gambate is a similar sort of phrase. <clears throat> Can't talk anymore, no oxygen. I'm looking at the campsite right now. We're like there. Oh, baby. Oh, first star, sir. First star. Yatto. Yatto, tsukimashita. We did it! Right here, it says, if you stay with a tent, one person, 500 yen. They have warm drinks, coffee, some type of soshiruko, I don't know what that is. Sake, and maybe a cup noodle, cup noodle. Wow, look at that view. Who wants a beer? Oh, beer? <laughs> We're about to get beer. <laughs> that is service right there. You cannot get this. Oh, maybe you can't get it somewhere else, but you definitely can get it here. <laughs> wow, look at all that. Like, 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 
put my beers in here right there. <laughs> Save those for later. <laughs> I feel so amazing right now. Look look at that view. That's that's how I feel right now. Look at that view. Look at that view. <laughs> how do you feel, Brian? I've reached my limit. I was like literally collapsing on the way up here. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell how fogged your glasses are? <laughs> so I can't see anything. <laughs> I'm like crying, but it's more because there's sweat falling into my eyes. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh my god, beer. <laughs> this is... Oh my god, look at that city view too. <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> Can we talk about how surreal this is? Like, but man, like first of all, this is so unique. And second of all, what is better than seeing a cabin with beer in it <laughs> when you've topped a mountain? And look at this! Look at this! Flow. Look at this view! Oh my god! Woo. Oh, remember earlier I said, you know how they say? <laughs> <laughs> you know I said people say, oh man. <laughs> they say things like, oh, it makes it all worthwhile. <laughs> this makes it all worthwhile, man. Oh my god, Andrew just ran in here. <laughs> he was breathing hard. This is just like the thing. <laughs> in here, trying to escape the beast. <laughs> oh my god. My, my jaw's tired from laughing already. <laughs>